Larry, if you're new to this place, it's one of the greatest archives of performing arts material in the world. It's also a library home for everybody. Um, that, that point has really sort of been driven home for me recently. Uh, we're the archival home of great artists. You can find Agnes DeMille's papers here. You can find Hal Prince's papers here. You can find Fred Ebb's papers here. You can find Rumi Misabu's papers right here. library home. So glad you're here tonight. Um, and uh, we love it when we have such an, it, it's, it's an amazing place, it's exhilarating how this can be the intersection, intersecting point of so many different wonderful diverse artistic communities one day after another finding a home right here. Uh, that was sort of driven home for me. This is the second in our cinema series. We, we do hundreds of free events at this library every year. And about a month ago, we had our first documentary film screening of our cinema series. And it was a documentary made in 1968 about Thelonious Monk, who was a, obviously a wonderful, wonderful artist. And Thelonious Monk, if you didn't know, actually lived most of his life from the time he was about five years old all the way through his adult career, living in an apartment just about a block and a half from here, over here. And in this documentary film, you saw Thelonious Monk holding court, walking down Amsterdam Avenue, and he got to about 64th Street, and over, the, over his right shoulder in 1968, you see the beautiful brand new facade of the door that you all just walked in the Library for the Performing Arts. And then tonight, you're going to see in this brilliant documentary, this very room featured in the screen. So, <laughs> first two documentaries of our screening series, and they both feature uh, this wonderful library and this space right here. This truly is a home for everybody. I'm really glad that you're here. Um, it's a place, this library celebrates creative accomplishments, new works of art, and that's another thing we're celebrating tonight because this film is, is brand new. And I don't think it's been screened in New York yet, right? This is the first screening in New York? It did? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't want to tell you. Sorry, y'all. Screening's canceled. Um, thanks for being here. Um, no, we're very, very honored to have the film coming home to a place where it, it was part of it was filmed. And certainly, research for the film was done here. Um, this is, it's, it's a great honor when this library can support new creative work. And so we're really, really proud to be screening your film here tonight. And we have the director here, Robert James, and he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Everybody welcome Robert James. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody for coming. This is exciting. Um, yeah, we've been planning on this since Evan said, could we screen at Lincoln Center? And I'm like, are you kidding? Uh, we're thrilled. I always wanted to sit here and, you know, <laughs> you know do sparkling, you know, insights. And, but I won't do that. Um, I did want to tell you how Ruminations came to me because I keep getting the questions from people about how the film came about. And what happened was in another project I'm still working on, which has turned into a series, um, I went to some friends and said, I need a, a gay hippie and um, somebody that could talk about the gay culture during the late 1960s and early 70s in San Francisco. And they sent me to Rumi. So I set up an interview and I show up with my camera crew and Rumi has created an entire set. You'll see it because I use that interview, not even really for this film. He, he created an entire set and did a reverse strip tease from his favorite John Moreau film while he put on makeup in a mirror. And I was like, who is this person? You know, I didn't ask him to do this. I just thought maybe he would sit in a chair and I would ask him questions about being a gay hippie. And um, he was so fascinating and I got to know him so well that uh, we decided to make a film, which was gonna be a short film initially. But as I got into his story more, I realized that we needed to make a feature documentary about him. And we're so thrilled to have him here. He just um, had a, a wonderful dance performance at Judson Memorial Church last night that many of you know about, called The War. So it was perfect timing for us to show 
our film about Remy, and Evan kind of stole my thunder about the theater being in the film, and um, and then I didn't know what to say, so I, I said that old story about Remy and you know the set and all that. So I guess we could start it now. Thank you for coming. I'm so thrilled.